Hi, this is Callan Bentley. I wanted to share with you some of the imagery from our field trip to Sidling Hill and the Paw Paw Tunnel this past weekend. We uh, drove over to Sidling Hill, which is a hill in western Maryland. Um, it's one of the many ridges of the Valley and Ridge province. The Valley and Ridge province is basically a fold and thrust belt that formed out of mid-Paleozoic sedimentary rocks that were then uh, crunched up during the late Paleozoic Alleghenian orogeny. And um, these various sedimentary layers are sandstone and shale and limestone, and they have differentially weathered to produce ridges and valleys. These ridges and valleys can be um, major features that control where people go, and the ridges in particular are um, obstacles to navigation. So the Sidling Hill road cut was made in order to let people cross uh, this particular ridge. It shows a massive syncline in early Mississippian age sedimentary rocks. These sandstones, coal, conglomerate, and shale were deposited from the erosion of the Acadian Mountains from an earlier phase of Appalachian mountain building, and they are differentially weathered uh, even though the outcrop is only about 31 years old. NOVA students investigated some of the various features exposed in these rocks. The emphasis was on interpretation of sedimentary features and the um, larger tectonic environment, and then also sort of figuring out the deformational history of these rocks, looking at features like slick insides, tension gashes, and of course the, uh, the large and small scale folding um, that gives us the structure that's so obvious in the uh, cross section of this mountain. But, um, you know, one of the things that's uh, a little bit counterintuitive to people who are starting off with geology is the idea that the sedimentary rock here, um, even though it's folded down, ends up making a mountain ridge that pokes up. And so we emphasize that the upper formation, the purslane formation, was rich in quartz, which is a very resistant mineral, and um, the lower formation is basically rich in shale. Uh, which is very easily eroded. And then we moved on down the road toward the Paw Paw Tunnel. We investigated that site and um, basically walked through the tunnel. It's three-fifths of a mile long. Came out the other side to find uh, exposures of the Devonian Age Brailleur Formation. And uh, we decided we would walk up and check out the anticline that we could see above the entrance to the Paw Paw Tunnel. Anyhow, it was a great day out in the field taking a look at two different situations where we've got geology controlling um, human movement and then humans responding to uh, those obstacles by carving their way through the rock. In both cases, we're dealing with Akkadian sediments that were then deformed during the Allegheny and Orogeny. So even though the weather was a little bit overcast and rainy, we had a great time out in the field. Thanks a lot for your attention. Uh, maybe next time you can join us.